Alright, so it's been like two minutes. The oven wasn't as hot last night, apparently, but... They're getting all nice and fat. You want them to be kind of fat. And once they start to droop over like that, they're about ready. That one's getting a nice little golden tint. Nice, nice. Alright, so I'm going to pause her again, and I'll take them out and show you guys. Alright, here comes the finished product. Ooh. Look at them fatties. Oh, they're just some fatties. Look how they jiggle in the wind. Just jiggling. What not. Oh, shit, that's hot. Alright. So then we're going to want to grab our chocolate. Bring them on over here. Kind of take the chocolate. And... Actually, you know what? We're going to go for the smarter route this time. Hmm. Let's take these off here and put them on a paper towel first this time. Because it got kind of messy last night. Alright. Splatular. There's the splatular. Two for one swag. Your tops you can kind of leave on there to brown a little bit if you want. But you definitely want to get these marshmallows off the pan before you like try and do this shit because this gets messy. <laughs> but who says the s'mores aren't messy, right? Right. Alright, so you take your chocolate, spread these out a little bit so they don't get all gooped onto each other, which they will, so. Put your chocolate down on there. Oh, look at the fatties. Oh, it's just big fat fatties. Look at them. Grab your tops, put them down on top. Oh, yeah. And there you go. Homemade, inside your house, s'mores. They are uber delicious. Enjoy.